in this lecture we will learn about how to integrate some important functions using substitution and using these forms of integrals we will try to integrate other difficult problems so these are some problems okay so integral dx by x square minus a square integral dx by a square minus x square dx by root under a square minus x square dx by x square plus a square there are many functions many standard functions which we will try to find the integral and we will use them in many other problems okay so first problem was integral dx by x square minus a square so this we can write as 1 by x minus a x plus a dx so this becomes if you write this as a as a fraction so 1 by x minus a minus 1 by x plus a dx so now this is basically if you solve this so this is x plus a minus x minus a so x x gets cancelled and this is 2a so here we will get 1 2a and this whole thing 1 integral 1 by x minus a dx minus integral 1 by x plus a dx so now this is 1 by 2a log of x minus a mod and minus log of x plus a mod plus c so this is 1 by 2a log of mod x minus a by x plus a plus c so this is basically log of a minus log of b is equal to log of a by b that we applied here next problem was that we have to see is let's see in another fresh page we will solve that integral dx by root under a square minus x square so you can see that the previous problem x square minus a square and here it is a square minus x square is quite similar so i can again write it as dx by a minus x a plus x so this is now what will you write so this will be written as 1 by a minus x plus 1 by a plus x we can write so dx and there will be some constant so if we see so this is a plus x plus a minus x so x x gets cancelled so 2a so this is 1 by 2a so now you will say that how do i find this okay so how do i say that okay this is 1 by a minus x plus 1 by 1 by a plus x so the basic thing is that i don't want a x term in the numerator so just have it like this so that in the numerator you have some constant a okay so that's why i added 1 by a minus x by 1 by a plus x dx so now it becomes very simple because it is now 1 by 2a now it is t is equal to a minus x then dt is minus dx so this 1 by a minus x becomes what minus dt by t so this is minus log of t so this is basically minus log of mod of a minus x plus now you substitute t is equal to a plus x so dt is dx so this becomes dt by t integral so this will be log of t so log of a plus x okay plus c so this is 1 by 2a log of a plus x by a minus x mod and plus some constant c okay so 1 by 2a log of a plus x by a minus x plus c so this is we solved the second important integral next we will see the third type which is integral dx by 
x square plus a square okay so this is also another nice form where we will use integration by substitution so what we do here is that okay if we take let's say so what will we substitute here okay so if we take t is equal to tan inverse okay okay t is equal to tan x so what will happen tan inverse x so dt is 1 by 1 plus x square dx okay something like this we know that okay if we have t is equal to tan inverse x then dt is dx by 1 plus x square okay so but we are here we have x square plus a square so what we do we can write like okay dx by a square we take out so 1 plus x square by a square okay so what happens here is this substitution okay so let's see so if we substitute t is equal to a tan of theta so what happens okay let's see so in this case dt is a 6 square theta d theta so now dt okay so we are replacing t with a tan theta hence what happens so t is equal to a tan of x so dt is a sec square x dx ok so what happens ok so x is a tan of theta that is what we substitute here so little bit of confusion so x is a tan theta so dx is a sec square theta d theta okay so this becomes a sec square theta d theta by x is now a square tan square theta plus a square okay so this is the case till now so this is a sec square theta d theta a square and 1 plus tan square theta and it becomes a square sec square theta okay so a gets cancelled sec square theta gets cancelled so this is 1 by a and d theta okay so this is 1 by a into theta which is 1 by a and theta here is what theta if you see from here it is tan inverse x by a okay so this integral becomes 1 by a tan inverse x by a plus c so you have to make some proper substitution and here it was so we took x is equal to a tan theta here we substituted and we got a very simple integral okay so to make it more clear we will see another example let's take this one dx by root under a square minus x square it is similar to the previous one here we substitute x is equal to a sine of theta so what happens dx becomes a cos theta d theta and this becomes a cos theta d theta and a square minus x square becomes what root under a square minus a square sin square theta so this is integral a cos theta d theta by 
a square 1 minus sin square theta which is a cos theta so this also gets cancelled it remains d theta which is theta plus c and theta here is sin inverse x by a plus c okay so this was our next question was which is a little bit difficult so dx by root under x square minus a square okay so what will we do here what should be x here so that integral here becomes something simpler x square minus a square so we know that okay sec square theta is equal to 1 plus tan square theta so sec square theta minus 1 is tan square theta so hence we substitute x is equal to a sec theta so this becomes something simpler the square root in the denominator so dx is a sec theta tan theta d theta okay so this becomes integral a sec theta tan theta d theta by root under a square sec square theta minus 1 which is a sec theta tan of theta by a tan theta. So now tan theta gets cancelled this is integral sec theta d theta now this is another interesting problem so this you can take as sec theta sec theta plus tan theta by sec theta plus tan theta we can write and why I'm doing like this you just see now so if we take t is equal to sec theta plus tan theta okay so what will happen dt is sec square theta plus sec theta tan theta plus sec square theta d theta isn't it we can take it out and make sec theta tan of theta plus sec theta d theta okay we can write like this so this integral again becomes now sec theta tan theta plus sec theta d theta is dt and t is sec theta plus tan theta so t so this is log of mod t plus c so this is log of sec theta plus tan theta plus c but this is not the answer okay why because we have the answer should be in the form of x so x is a sec theta so sec theta we get equal to x by a tan theta will be what sec square theta minus 1 x square by a square minus 1 root under so this is root under x square minus a square by a okay so this now becomes equal to log of sec theta is x by a plus root under x square minus a square by a plus c so we can take it out and it will be log x plus root under x square minus a square plus and minus log a plus c which becomes another constant c dash okay so this is log of mod x plus root under x square minus a square plus c dash so this is the integral of this so it was a bit complicated but you see how we did some manipulations and it would be better if you remember quite a few integrals like this 
so first one was that okay sec theta d theta if you integrate it becomes log of mod sec theta plus tan theta so you should remember a few which will come by practice okay so i solved both of these integrals here so i hope this will make clear so we are only left with now one integral and that is integral dx by root under x square plus a square so we have solved a lot of interesting questions so here again we want to simplify the root so that square root goes away in the denominator so what should we take so x is equal to a tan theta so what will happen a square tan square theta plus a square which will become a square sec square theta so root goes away so that's good dx is a sec square theta d theta so here it becomes a sec square theta d theta by root under a square tan square theta plus a square this becomes a sec square theta d theta by a sec theta okay so this gets cancelled here so this is sec theta d theta from our previous example sec theta d theta integral is log of sec theta plus tan theta i will write directly log of mod sec theta plus tan of theta plus t now simplify this tan of theta is x by a sec theta is root under 1 plus x square by a square which is root under a square plus x square by 1 by a so this becomes log of root under x square plus a square by a plus tan theta is x by a okay plus c now we can take log of a out and it will be log of root under x square plus a square plus x mod plus log of a plus c which becomes log of root under x square plus a square plus x mod plus some constant k okay so this way we saw that we could integrate so many different functions okay so we said that okay we will solve integrals of these forms x square minus a square a square minus x square their square root in the denominator and we solved them one by one first one was using partial fraction next one was also using partial fraction the third one where i got confused where everyone can but you should try out this is a way that okay if you somehow forget in the exam try out various possibilities you will get you get distracted so you have to see so dx by x square plus a square how you will solve is finally i got this one substitution x is equal to a tan theta then we had easier problems because i could get one solution so dx by root under a square minus x square was simple sin inverse x by a plus c this was a difficult problem it had two levels of integration but if you remember this integral sec theta then it becomes easy so we saw this problem here substitution was x is equal to a sec theta and why we chose something x is a sec theta and all so that we could remove the square root in the denominator okay the last one also root under x square plus a square to remove this square root we took x is a tan theta then we could get the answer so i hope you understand this if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel thanks a lot